Hi everyone, welcome to your first writing assignment. You are going to be writing a summary of A Rose for Emily by William Faulkner. And you may be thinking, wow, it's just a summary. It's just a paragraph. That's going to be totally easy. I mean, huh, first week AP literature, we only have to write a paragraph. Not so fast. It's actually hard to write things when you have less words to use. If I asked you to write a two-page paper about the Rose for Emily, you could go into detail, you could give examples, you could cite information, but when I give you only a paragraph to summarize, and it's not that short of a story, to summarize, it can be hard because you have to figure out what to include and what not to include. And how do you do that with the least amount of words possible? So what I do for my middle schoolers, and this is not part of the assignment, but maybe it would work for you guys. So I give them a whole sheet to write about the story they just read. And then I give them a half sheet to write about it. And then I give them a little index card. And so they have to keep paring it down. And then I give them two lines. And so what they're doing each time is they're taking a longer writing and they're crossing out everything that is not completely important. And then they go further and further until they only have two lines. I'm not asking for only two lines. Um, their stories are much simpler than what you're reading right now, so I'm asking for a paragraph, okay? But if you want to take that, write out your thoughts, and then go through on your computer and delete everything that is not necessary, you can do it that way. Um, but this is what I want you to look at. So in the assignment just above this one, I asked you to answer some questions. In this story, what was the exposition? What was the rising action? What was the climax? What was the falling action? Resolution. From those answers, you should be able to kind of create a summary just from those because filling out the diagram, filling out your own Freytag's um, pyramid helps you to really locate what the important points are in the story. And that's going to help you with your summary because you've already done the work of figuring out what's important and what's not. So use that as you write this. So when you write a summary, you're going to start with the person, the character. Who is the person? Tell us who the person is, not with flowery content, but make it simple. What do they want? Every character wants something. So after you write a sentence about the character, write about what they want. But in a story, there's always something that gets in the way, right? And so in the rising action, you're going to see the but, okay? So what is the problem? What is the thing that's getting in the way of what they're looking for, of what they want, of what is propelling them to get what they want? So... How do they handle that? How do they handle the problem, the thing that is standing in their way, the obstacle? How do they handle that moment? And then what happens after they solve that problem? So really that fits into our Freytag's model. So between the Freytag's pyramid and these guiding questions, I think that you'll be able to come up with something. Now as summaries, you're going to end up for the first few times probably writing more than a paragraph. And you're gonna be pulling your hair out because you're like, how can you possibly do this in just one paragraph? Just go through and get rid of everything that is not important. Only the extremely important things need to stay. Okay, um, the one thing I wanna tell you is, on the AP test, I've been doing research on how students do, like overwhelmingly, how they do on certain types of questions. The summary is something that the widest majority of students did not get right. So I do want to work on this and it's not going to be perfect at first, but that's okay because this is all just a transformation of learning how to do these things. So I do want to concentrate on this this week and that's why I'm giving you the whole week to write the paragraph so that you can sit, cross things out, switch things around, figure out how it goes um, because you guys are not going to be part of that percentage because you're my people and you're going to rock this test, even though it's in May. It's so far away, but if you can just get this stuff going in your head, realizing how to do it, you could write one of these things in like five minutes flat, like it's nothing. And that's where I want to get you to, okay? All right, happy writing. Please email me if you have any problems with this. Thank you. Bye.